Taking quality images of the moon with your smartphone can be both rewarding and daunting. But if you have a smartphone and a telescope, you can go from this to this. Let me show you how. First, let's go over things you'll need. A smartphone, a telescope. In this case, I'm using the Celestron StarSense Explorer DX113AZ, some filters, and smartphone telescope mounts. Now the smartphone mounts are key, and I happen to have two different smartphone mounts, but the idea is the same, holding the smartphone against the telescope. This Celestron mount basically attaches to your telescope's eyepiece, and then you place the phone into the carrier. It's sturdy enough to hold the phone, and it does have knobs to move the phone in place, but just keep in mind that the clamps to hold the phone in place aren't very good, so you can have an issue putting too much weight on the telescope and the eyepiece. This mount works a little differently in that it forgoes the eyepiece altogether and just slots right into the eyepiece holder. This one is better for the weight of the phone and the telescope, but you lose the use of the different eyepieces. But honestly, whatever smartphone mount you use, it's up to you and you really can't go wrong. Now second, you're gonna need a telescope filter. Celestial objects, especially the moon, are bright objects that our eyes can adjust to easily, but our phones can't. So to help with that, you can use a variety of filters to see these objects a lot clearer. These filters can cut down on glare, decrease brightness, and also have a color range from red to blue to help increase or decrease certain aspects of the object you're viewing. Now, I'm not gonna get into too much detail of which filter to use, but either way, any of these filters can help you see certain details. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use this 13% moon transmission filter because it boosts contrast and offers up a lot more detail on the moon. But again, feel free to use whatever filter you'd like to use. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's do some lunar photography. But first things first, let's figure out what cycle the moon is in. Currently, the moon is in a waxing gibbous, which means that it's on its way to becoming a full moon, but not quite yet. Another thing to consider is when the moon rises. Currently, the moon is expected to rise around noon, so you can both see it in the day and at night. My suggestion, go around dusk because it's not too dark and it's ample enough light that you can see what you're doing. Now, right off the bat, the biggest issue I had was the modern smartphone because their camera arrays come with two, maybe three, even four cameras on the back. Now, those are great for taking general photos, but they can be a pain when you're trying to align the right one with the telescope's eyepiece. Once you have the moon in frame, make sure to turn off auto exposure and auto focus. On most phones, this can be done by just long pressing on the phone screen. This turns off all your automatic settings and allows you to adjust things manually. In this case, the exposure on the phone and the focus from the telescope. Second, consistently repositioning the telescope to get that good shot of the moon makes the image shake a bit. So another thing to do is turn the timer on. This gives the phone and the telescope time to settle and get that good shot. Depending on the level of shake, you should plan accordingly. I usually do about three to five seconds because I usually get a decent shot out of that. Most importantly, if your phone has night mode, turn that off because it will needlessly brighten the image as well as the flash please turn that off. And now that that's out of the way, let's grab some photos of the moon. My suggestion, have fun with it. Take a lot of photos, even shoot some video. The good news is, the moon is so big that if you follow all these instructions, you're gonna have a decent shot no matter what. That's all for now, but please subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more content like this, and thanks for watching.